The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the official post fight review for Sergey Boachuk versus Rafael Ogobogwe. And um, listen, man, Sergey Boachuk, he was coming off that loss to Brandon Adams earlier in the year, where he got knocked out in devastating fashion. So it was very important. It was it was of great importance and know top priority that he not just win tonight but look good doing it and that's exactly what he did he beat the po he, beat, he beat the piss out of Rafael Ogbogwe and the, and the corner had to stop it I believe it was uh after, after the sixth round going into the seventh the corner actually said enough is enough and um Ogbogwe lives to fight another day but it was the kind of fight where it was a slow beating and I, I believe it is the kind of fight that will take some gears off of his career so um uh, Pop what, what, what was your thoughts on Boa Chuck's performance tonight? Oh let me tell you for the first time seeing him uh uh, you're right, BT. He's a very talented fighter. Um, once he figured out uh, the Nigerian fighter, he basically, um, you know, he knew was he knew when his, that the Nigerian fighter was not hurting him. After that, he blocked his jab and he just fucked him up. Yeah, because there was nothing. And, and what I like about um, Bert, Bert, what's his name? Bochuk. Bo, Bo, Bochuk is that um, once he figured him out, he used his distance. He came forward. He attacked. He attacked his target the way he's supposed to attack him, and he didn't stop. And he, he was relentless throughout the whole fight. That's why I had to get stopped. Yeah, and, and, and he runs his record up to 20 wins, all and 20 wins, 20 wins and one loss, all wins by knockout. 20, 20 knockouts. Um, 20 of his 20 wins have all been by knockout. Jeez. So um, it was good for him. You know, I, I like. I think in this fight we saw a little bit more of the IQ of Boa Chuck because you know um, Rafael Ogbogwe was a southpaw. Uh, with a good jab and some good movement, but um, and in the first round he was landing that jab seemingly at will, and then uh, Boachuk made this little adjustment where because like he started off in the in the traditional Eastern European right. you know straight up and down stance, but then what he did was in the second round he took his he took his lead hand and he just brought it right here and kept and kept it a little bit closer to his head. So from that point forward he was able to block the punches with the lead hand and should he throw a right he was he was blocking it with the other hand as well, and this allowed Boachuk to move forward. And line up with him, line him up with right hands, left hooks, uppercuts, yeah. going to the body. And from that, from the second round on, it was it all Boa Chuck. It was just like uh, what my son said once. Uh, uh, um, Boa Chuck figured him out. It was just target practice. Um, a Bobby just stood in front of him. He wasn't moving to the side, doing any kind of la lateral no. movement. No, nothing to try to make it difficult for Boa Chuck to, to go ahead and, um, and miss his punches. So after that, it was like good night, Irene. Absolutely, man. And for Boa Chuck, you know, he he suffered a really devastating loss to Brandon Adams, and I watched that fight too. It was a thir it was Thursday night, just like tonight, on Ring City USA, and it was it was a fight where, you know, I, I thought I thought he was doing some good things in that fight. I actually had him up in that fight a little bit, and um, he got caught with a really devastating punch from Adams, and, and, and Adams, you know, had that killer instinct to finish him, and it was a it was a really. Uh, bad setback for him and sometimes as a fighter you can go into your, your your fights after that lacking confidence lacking assurance lacking that uh you know just conviction in your abilities going there and to, tonight marks. i mean I'll, I'll be honest i'm gonna call i'm not gonna say you're at like he just beat a, 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 a great fighter in, right. in Bogue way but but um it was i mean it, it was a guy he did what he was supposed to do and I think it was a good confidence builder for him. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing how, you know, Tom Loeffler and the fine folks at 360 Promotions and all parties involved want to step him up moving forward. You know, this is a guy that a lot of people, particularly in Southern California, are very excited about. They like the, the punch and power of this guy. He doesn't necessarily have one punch power. Let, 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 let's not get him confused with, um, you know... Um, Mike Tyson or anything like that, yeah. or, or, or or Tommy Hitman Hearns, but but he has the kind of power that breaks you down, that methodical power, um, to where like if you let him hit you and, and do what he did to Obogwe tonight, you look like you've been in a fight. Oh and I God. think if, if we look at Obogwe's face, we can agree he he looked like he'd been in a fight. I His whole face, cheekbones, everything was swelling. So you know, hopefully he can come back and recover for for his career because you don't wish bad on any fighters. But um, just a good win for Boa Chuck, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they step him up. Maybe, maybe, I mean, I don't know if Brandon Adams is going to want to go back down that road because he, he was an underdog and he should be afforded the chance to go down greener pastures. But, mm -hmm. you know, I would say if, if Adams could continue to win two or three fights, Boa Chuck could win two or three fights, I think a, a rematch uh, could be in store. I'll, I'll, I'll like to see a rematch in the future because I feel like their styles mesh so well. Who, uh, Boa Chuck and Adams. 
Um, cause Boa Chuck's long and he's rangy and he's got that, that, that power that breaks you down and he can go to the if body. If that was to happen for a second rematch, who, who, who would you have winning that fight? Who would I have? Uh, it's too early to say. I mean, you take that, uh, that, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, there, man. I thought, I, I thought Boa Chuck was winning before, uh, he got clipped. I mean, it was a close competitive fight, but I thought he was winning. Um... I don't know. I actually don't even know. Yeah, I don't stay know. tuned to watch it. Just gotta, I, 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 I gotta see. Cause I, I, I don't even think <laughs> Adams has fought. It. I don't think Adams has fought since he beat Boachuk back in I think. Are like you serious? March or April. Wow. Okay. So um, you know, we'll see what happens with Adams and Boachuk. But yeah, overall, just to just to sum it up, a, a good performance. And it, it, it literally, you if you're if you're Manny Robles, his trainer, and the people that are involved with his career and Boachuk himself, you look good. You couldn't have a really better. have a better comeback rebuilding fight than this one. So. Um, good performance of him. I'll be looking forward to seeing what he's got cooking up in the future. And yeah, man. If you, listen, if y'all missed the live, y'all y'all missed it. You I mean it wasn't a, a lot? That wasn't the largest gathering in true school sports oh, history. Enjoy. But we had fun, man. So if, if you yeah. missed it, you really missed out on a great live. And yeah. you know, um, it was on UFC Fight Pass. So it was the, the first time I've ever gone live for a car <laughs> on UFC, UFC Fight Pass. Fight so, crazy. so maybe I'll make that more regular. But you know, thing. shout out to Ray Jones. Uh, and, uh, and Tom Loeffler. Yeah, forget it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, man. Make it that what you will. Uh, so, hey, boy, Chuck, back to winning ways. Beats the brakes off of Rafael Oboe. Oh! And uh, that's what it is, man. So, yeah, you guys leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding from Daniel. So, until next time, take care, guys.